Hello and welcome back to another Radio.co tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at our latest feature here at Radio.co which is called Voice Studio. So a bit of a disclaimer to start off with, Voice Studio is still currently in beta. It's a brand new integrated tool that enables broadcasters to create, edit and manage their own voice content completely within the Radio.co platform. So before you might have used stuff like Audacity or some of the Adobe products, now you can actually do a lot of the things you would have done there on Radio.co itself, which is very exciting. So if you wanna record your own voice or mix multiple audio sources, you can now do all of that within Voice Studio. And better still, it's the first time that Radio.co has integrated some AI automations into the mix too. So when you first click on Voice Studio here in the corner, you will get greeted with this message here. Welcome to Voice Studio. Uh, so straight away here, you can either click on the get started guide or give us some feedback as it's still in beta, like I say. I'm just gonna go ahead and click get started. So this is the screen you will see initially. Fairly blank, not a lot going on. But if I click on add track, you'll see a selection of different things we can actually do with the Voice Studio. Now the first one is fairly straightforward and that is just recording a voice track. Now this is a feature that's been a part of Ray.co for a while now. Um, so you basically just select your microphone. I'll just go for my default MacBook Pro microphone. Not the best, but it'll do for now. Um, and I can use a script here so I can just chuck in a little script like, hello. It's me, and then I know exactly what I wanna say, and I just click go, and voila, I am now recording. Hello, hello, it's me, one, two, one, two, stop, and that's done, perfect. Now all we need to do is click add to Voice Studio, and that will now appear on our timeline. So the timeline works a lot like other software, such as Audacity, and essentially you can drag and drop things, you can click play, pause, you can skip a bit, you can go straight back, and you can very easily delete tracks if you make a mistake. As well as that, you've also got an export setting at the top here, so this can essentially let you export straight to your media library, uh, or your voice tracks, or you can even just download the track if you want to use it somewhere else, that's absolutely fine. On the left hand side, you're gonna have your tracks. So we've got the voice recording I just did. We can change the volume of that here. Uh, we can use this tool here to control the volume even more. We can have like a fade in at the start if we want and a fade out. Uh, we can mute the track if say we're doing something and it's maybe getting in the way. We just wanna mute it for a second, that's absolutely fine. And if we click this headphone button here, that basically just means this is the only track we're gonna hear on the actual timeline. So if we've got about 10 tracks going on and we just wanna to listen to one specific track, just click that button there. At the bottom here, we also have a master volume. So this is just the volume for everything on the timeline. Um, so like I say, if you've got loads of different tracks going on and you kind of just want to like turn it up and down a little bit, you can do that just there. You can also zoom in and out in the right corner here, which is handy if you have quite a lot going on and it's not all fitting on the screen at one time. Finally, at the top right corner, you'll see monthly credits here. Now, I'll come back to this in a second because this is to do with AI, which takes us onto our second thing we can do here, which is generate AI voices. You're gonna see this screen here. And the first option we get is voice. So if I click on that, we will see a selection of different people all with very different voices. So if I click on Adam, for example. Hey there, I'm Adam. Ready to voice your station whenever you need. So Adam's got a warm, engaging, and deep voice, um, but maybe Adam's vibe isn't exactly what we're looking for. We could go for Nancy, who is casual, youthful, and approachable. Hey there, I'm Nancy. Ready to voice your station whenever you need. Cool, I think we'll go for Nancy. And the next step here is to just type in something you would like Nancy to say. So for example, if we are creating a news piece, I might write, hi, welcome back to the news. It's me, your host, Nancy. Does that rhyme? Kind of rhymes. Um, and then we just want to click generate. Before we do that though, coming back to what I said earlier, you'll see here, it shows how many credits we're going to use to generate this AI voice. And then we'll see how many remaining credits we have at the side. Don't go too crazy, you know, use them carefully, use them wisely. Um, but by all means, experiment and have a great time using it. So I'm now, so I'm pretty happy with that and I'm just gonna click generate. And after a few seconds, we will see that our AI voice has been generated and we can click and listen to a little preview down here. Hi, welcome back to the news. It's me, your host, Nancy. Cool, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna add it to the voice studio. And now maybe I want to, you know, figure out how I'm gonna do this. So maybe I'll have it fade in a little bit at the start, and then I want it to go straight into the second track. So if I turn off that fade for a second. Hi, welcome back to the news. 
It's me, your host, Nancy. Go. And voila, I am now Okay, so you get the idea. Obviously, that's not great. <laughs> but what you can do here is you can use AI voices to fill in gaps. Or say you're a one person band. Uh, you don't necessarily have the resources to have a, a news team or a news host. And you could use AI to have your very own news host. AI is not a replacement for radio, but it can be a brilliant tool for assisting smaller radio stations that just don't have the resources that some of the bigger ones do. So the third thing we can add is media from our library. So we can take a look at some of the stuff we've already uploaded into our media, uh, such as Lust for Life by Iggy Pop, and I can add that in. And I could maybe use this as sort of like a like a bed almost. So if I bring the volume way down, and then if I start it now. Hi. Welcome back to the news. Don't wanna to play too much, don't wanna get copyright striked. Uh, but you get the idea, we could have some music there as a bed. Equally, uh, we can add another voice track. So if say we've already got something recorded that we're pretty happy with, such as local news, we can whack that in. A lot going on there, but you get the idea. As well as that, we can also add some recordings from our library. Uh, so recordings are essentially just any shows you've already recorded and you've saved. So maybe we did a show last week and we want to integrate a clip of that into something we're creating here. You can absolutely do that. You can also add in sounds. So we have an extensive library of sounds you can use for free as part of your plans. So you can just go ahead and click on one of these if you want. So what's this? Mournful Synth. Very mournful. Finally, we can go ahead and upload any audio files we might already have on our device. So now I'm pretty happy with the setup I've got here. Uh, I can drag things about a bit, move it around, see what sort of layout I like, and say if maybe something's a bit too long, I could shorten that like this, and maybe just, you know, add a quick fade out. And that's a very quick tutorial of the voice studio. Now it may seem quite daunting at first, but I promise you it's very, very simple and straightforward to use. The team at Radio.co are always thinking about how they can make things as simple and intuitive as possible. And the voice studio is no different. If you'd like to see a more in-depth tutorial of the voice studio, please do let us know in the comments or email us at studio at Ray.co. But until next time, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next tutorial. Happy broadcasting. Want to take your radio station to the next level? Well, here at Radio.co, we don't just specialise in launching new radio stations, but elevating existing ones too. For example, do you have an internet radio station that doesn't seem to be hitting that audience you want? Are you unsure whether the branding or the content you've created is right? Are there just too many industry buzzwords and equipment types that you can't get your head around? Allow me to offer my expertise. For just $50, you can schedule in a 50-minute consultation with me to go through every aspect of your station with the goal of refocusing and revitalising your efforts to mould it into something that you're truly happy with. Even if you don't have a radio station or podcast yet, but you'd you know like some guidance on how to get off to a strong start, then please don't hesitate to get in touch. Don't let stress and small audience numbers get you down. Get in touch via studio at radio.co and we'll put our heads together to turn this thing around.